Shalom, saints, kingdom citizens, and fellow brothers and sisters in the Most High. It's me again, Joanna, and today we are going to continue on the topic, Happy New Nothing. <laughs> Alright, so I recently started a brief series just to discuss some very important things concerning why the Gregorian calendar, 1st of January, is not the New Year. Um, just to recap on what we spoke on yesterday, the title of yesterday's topic was, So What? Because many of you may be wondering, so what does this have to do with anything? I mean, it's a calendar after all, and these are the times we're in. And some of those answers were given concerning why it's important. And so today, we will just like to do a brief recap before we jump into today's topic. So... I gave a brief history on the Gregorian calendar, where it came from, and the fact that the names of the months of the year are all from Roman, all stems, sorry, from Roman deities, leaders, numbers, and even their festivals. And of course, we understand that in that time period, a lot of the Roman influence has still, you know, corrupted the system pretty much today. All right, so even though that was then, it still affects how we operate now. And this is important to know because one of the reasons why it's crucial as kingdom citizens for us to be aware of these things is because this is in direct contradiction to what God's word says. And we ought to live and adhere to his word and his command. And we also saw the fact that the scripture tells us when the new year actually begins. So we're not unaware. We know. All right, so another key thing to note is that based on the historical evidence that was given, it shows and proves the fact that God's word is true because before the different changes with the calendars, we actually celebrated the new year in March. The world celebrated it in March, well, as much as I know the world. But at the same time, there were changes made and all these changes turned us away from the actual new year which is in march april sometimes as we know by now so one of the last things i would like to say is that as kingdom citizens we really need to stick to what the most High instructed us and this was another key point that came about from yesterday's topic of discussion we spoke about romans chapter 12 verse 2 and it speaks of being transformed by the renewing of our minds and not being conformed to the world so we don't want to be conformed in fact this whole issue of being conformed is going to be addressed today because the title of today's teaching is be not conformed right so let's jump in the question we're going to answer today is why are the majority of us believers and so forth celebrating the new year that is not based upon the actual biblical new year or according to the scripture and one of the reasons why is the very same thing i just spoke about is simply because we have conformed and some of us conformed unaware and it's okay but now that you know the truth make the necessary changes right because conforming actually means to be obedient to the rules or norms of something it also means to act according to the prevailing standard attitudes and practices sometimes of a society a country and so these things are things that we are instructed not to do because in doing so you are now submitting to something other than god's authority right so if you conform you behave in a way that you are expected to so trust me these people who tampered with this calendar know what results they were going after and clearly their plan worked because everybody's celebrating something they came up with right so and as kingdom citizens let us consider this for a moment let us really take this in why would we behave in another in any sorry other way except for the way in which we are supposed to behave as representatives of the most high all right so we understand the agenda is to push us into a particular mental state program us whatever the case may be but we have to not be like that we have to understand this we have to really understand this because if we choose to behave like their standard and harmonize with their ways of doing things 
then it actually puts us at odds with God's standard and his ways and why we must understand this it's not about well yeah what I understand you know I'm celebrating it no no what we must do is be set apart this is what we are commanded to do the Lord tells us to be set apart not be conformed to them but to be set apart we are in the world but not of the world so we must be set apart in fact in Leviticus chapter 11 verse 45 it says I'm gonna read it I don't want to butcher this scripture so I'm gonna read it all right so it says for I am the Lord that bring you out of the land of Egypt to be your Elohim you shall be holy for i am holy holy also means to be set apart and that's taken in the old testament well let's jump to the new and there are many other scriptures as well but first peter 1 15 says 15 to 16 says the same thing and this is peter instructing the the the, the early church and even us now right so be holy in all you do for it is written that we be holy we need to be set apart we can't just be bouncing around with all kind of traditions of men and all these different things so my dear sisters and brothers in the most high let's understand that one of the reasons why we must not just come away from it even if you're still struggling with the fact that it's a lie still be set apart shalom and see you in tomorrow's lesson bye for now